hey, welcome to Fangs Out. And this is the last film of Mental Horror Illness Month. And we couldn't end the we couldn't end without talking about Psycho. Psycho, without a doubt, may be one of the best horror films of all time. And if you've been living under a rock, or you're not a horror fan, you perhaps may have been able to miss this film, but it tells the story of um, this seemingly mild manner person called Norman Bates, played by the incredibly, incredibly talented and and very, very, very underrated actor and, and wonderful singer, by the way, Anthony Perkins. Many people didn't know that, but he actually sang professionally and actually very well. Um, highly controversial character in real life. Um, has some has some inner demons. Uh, you know, he, he also was, uh, you know, at, at the time, you know, very controversial character uh, because he he was reportedly bisexual and uh, not a very popular thing in Hollywood back then, you know. Um, he was able to overcome that and he was able to, and uh, he was one of early victim of the AIDS virus and, uh, you know, very, very, you know, talented individual that, you know, was basically left way too soon. And uh, he plays, you know, mild manner guy that owns a hotel and he lives with his mother. And um, people start mysteriously dying at the Bates Motel. And uh, there's just one giant mystery there. And uh, I love the opening of the film, you know, uh, having the, the, the wonderful Janet Lee, um, you know, beautiful, uh, embezzling, having embezzled some money and running away, uh, spends a night uh, you know, at the stopover of the Bates Motel. And we all know, you know, Alfred Hitchcock, uh, you know, very, very, uh, you know, wonderful, wonderful uh, scene where, um, you know, you know, she gets stabbed on the shower. You know, the shower scene is one of the iconic things of all time. It's what people most notice about Psycho. Uh, so I'll leave it at that. Um, you know, the, the review is very simple because it's one of the best horror films of all time. There's nothing I have to say of that. Uh, but what we're here for, because it's Horror Mental Illness Month, is talk about Norman Bates. And uh, we're going to psychoanalyze him and see why, you know, he has severe mental problems. Spoilers, okay. Um, so yeah, they're gonna put they gotta put that big time on the title because you know we can't talk about psychoanalyzing him without going into the fact that he is the killer and uh, he is the uh, and not only is he the killer but he has an alternate um, personality. That his deceased mother, he, he puts in a wig and, and thinks that she is. He pretends to talk like her. And he is just a little old boy that, um, you know, just a little boy that, that, that wants to obey his mother. And his mother tells her to do this horrible thing, to kill, especially women. Um, I think on Norman, my personal take on it is that Norman has... You know, throughout the psycho films, you know, that we have learned a little bit more, we have seen that, uh, you know, there's some severe sexual abuse, uh, especially uh, some may have been done by the mother. And uh, there is just a very heavy obsession with, uh, with, with, 
of the Norman Bates character with sex, but you just can't really go normal for him because of of his abuse. Um, I think that his repressed uh, mental illness may have, uh, you know, suppressed before. In other of the with the psycho films, we we learn that. Uh, he may have, uh, and through uh, now the uh, um, the Bates Motel TV series, we may have said that he may have been a killer. Uh, you know, and it's kind of not fair to include those films because we didn't know that at the end, but, I mean, it is hinted that he may have killed before. Um, and then there's, uh, there's heavy... Uh, places of, you know, severe psychosis due to, um, and, and, and there's also the, you know, when, when the, the movie ends, it's just the creepiest that he's just sitting there and, and, and he seems that, you know, he, he wants to, and, and I love Psycho too, by the way, but, you know, that's, just, we got to do one, you know, we'll, I'm going to reveal to you a hint, you know, that we're going to, uh, well, I'm just going to straight up tell you that the next franchise that we're going to take a look, uh, it's Psycho. So I'm going to go deeper into this. But basically, um, I don't know how to approach Norman uh, other than just, you know, severe sexual abuse, um, severe um, psychosis, uh, you know, he... He misses his mother so much and he loves her so much that he props her like she's still alive. And she commands his thoughts and and he kind of disassociates his own personality and becomes the mother completely. Um, So he he is not himself aware that he changes. And, uh, And through some help and through some things, he in the later things, he may have become self aware. Uh, but it, it's just one of the most iconic, you know, mental patients. And um, I wonder if he had gotten some, some medical treatment, will he been able to be a part of, uh, you know, regular life? And we see some of that on the Psycho sequels, but, you know, in per- if he was a real character indeed, will he have been able to be treated? Well, let me know. I mean, this is just... I know I'm not being much of a psychologist here, but it's just very tough. I can't figure out Norman. I can't figure out why he, I mean, I know why. I mean, he, it's just the abuse. And, and, and But there's people that have the abuse and doesn't do that. Perhaps it was because he was administered, you know, by the mother that disturbed him even more. Or perhaps it's just that there was something in there already. So chime in with your thoughts about what's wrong with Norman and and help me psychoanalyze him a little bit more. But the acting is superb and the reveal at the end with his mother, rotten corpse of the mother, you know, at the end. Uh, well, not rotten, it's basically a skeleton, but it's just very shocking. And, and, and the very, very end looking at uh, Anthony Perkins' face and his eyes, they're just, there's just lunacy there, you see, you see a mad person, you see the, the big change of his look, you know, the, you know, a boy's best friend is his mother, you know, you, you hear his tone of voice defending his mother, even though his mother may have been the one that messed him up the most. So that's the end of, um, Mental Illness Month. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, next month, um, recently uh, I started talking about Halloween franchise and I thought I would wait until October to do it, but forget that, man. So next month, I'm ranking the Halloween franchise from worst to best. And I'm going to go through every film, doing a review on every film. And it's going to be a hard task, but hopefully you guys will enjoy it. 
stay cool thank you so much and uh take care till next time